Okay, I figured it's time that I did a review on my latest mouse, Model O Wireless. Glorious Model O Wireless. Really been having a good time with this mouse. Previously, I had a Razer Hyperspeed Vascular Hyperspeed X, and then I got a Model O Minus, and it was just a wired one. And then I got a regular Model O because the Model O Minus was just too, it was too short and too narrow for my hand because I have really relatively large hands so i wound up picking this up i think it was like 90 bucks for the wireless and i mean honestly it's been great it's been way better than the other one the only problem with the model o minus for me was the size so i could have kept using it but i was getting like this pain on this part of my finger because of the way that i gripped the mouse not that part this part of this finger and i still kind of get it but because of having a wider mouse I'm not gripping it quite as tight. Um, so yeah, bottom line, I would definitely highly suggest this. My main thing that I would say is if you're lucky enough to have a micro center or a computer store that actually has these in stock, go in there so you can feel how it feels in your hand. You know, um, they might have a, a demo version out where you can feel how the mouse skates feel as well. I mean, they've got really good skates, but... One of the things that you'll notice right away is how, how satisfying the clicks are. It's got really nice, responsive feeling clicks compared to the other mice that I've used. And I've used about like four or five mice. The Razer one, the Model O Wireless, I mean the Model O Minus, now the Model O Wireless, and like a couple cheaper mice along the way. But this is definitely the best one so far. I think eventually I might, might have to test out the... Uh, the G Pro wireless or the G Pro Super Light. But until that day comes, I'm going to give this the seal of approval. I would say one thing, and I'm probably going to start doing it again, is just turning off the lights. Well, actually, I might not do that because I kind of like them. But um, you get probably like twice the battery life if you turn off the LEDs and stuff. RGB. But anyways, everybody have a great day. Sorry if I stumbled over any of my words or anything. This is real early in the morning. It's like 7 a.m. over here. Just starting my day out. Was looking at my YouTube channel and seeing, you know, what, what could I post on the channel that would possibly do some numbers and bring some value to some people. So I decided to do a little talk about this mouse. Maybe this will push you over the edge to get it. Maybe it'll send you to to micro center to check it out and make the decision for yourself because honestly with mice I feel like aside from the sensors and responsiveness and all that type of stuff being good enough I would say the number one thing is the comfort level how does it feel in your hands because at the end of the day you're the one who's going to be using it while you play games and stuff everybody have a great day